Okay, so Windows 11 has this new HDR calibration tool, and they did not make that available for Windows 10. Um, so I was wondering if I took a Windows 11 computer and created a profile for this monitor and then transferred that to my Windows 10 machine, would I get um, the same kind of color quality that I did on the Windows 11 machine? Seems like it should work. So for Windows 11, um, I have this B-Link SER5 5600H and I'm going to use the Type-C connector to display port over to this monitor and right now um, I'm hoping so the background is solid white I'm hoping that that'll help the camera actually focus on what I'm doing better instead of blooming in and out when it gets dark and uh, I go to my display settings um, so right now I have it set up using HDR and then there's this slider for the SDR brightness right now I have that set at 40 um, because previously experimenting with it that seemed to be what worked best for this monitor and so also, I have the monitor itself um, is set to HDR and then uh, HDR 400, so it'll always be in that mode. And then there's this super sharp thing um, that can do some weird outlining of objects sometimes, so I turn that off. And then uh, the Microsoft Store has this calibration tool for Windows 11 uh, that you can get off of there for free. And it's similar to what they put out for the Xbox, um, but it's a little bit different, I think. Um, but it'll give you these patterns where you move some sliders uh, to get better HDR color quality and then it'll save a new color profile for you. So it gets started and it starts off with this minimum luminance screen and you just move the slider down until the pattern disappears and right about there well let's I don't know how well that shows up on the screen but if I just move it one, I can see it. So I'll move it back down to zero. And then the next screen, so theoretically, this is an HDR 400 monitor. So when this goes up to 400, it should disappear. And that's actually pretty close. So maybe 450. Um, Yeah, 450 is pretty good, but you know, I'm going to go, let's just make it 400, see what that looks like. So I don't know how that looks in, if you can tell or not, but that's 400. And then on this full screen one, let's just do the same thing, let's go 400. There. And... Uh, that one, yeah, I guess you can probably make that out. I'm not sure. Um, but they say to go until the patterns disappear. But I'm going to stop there just for the sake of demonstrating this. And then there's this saturation, color saturation uh, slider. And you move that up and down. And I'll bet, I'll bet you can't see any change. I can barely see any change. 
So I'm going to set that halfway. We'll go 50. And next. And then I'm going to call this DG271U Display Port HDR Calibrated Profile. And we're going to finish. OK. And then I'm just going to close that. If we go to the Color Manager, Color Management, it created a new profile. It's using my settings. And it put this profile there, which it is using now. OK. And the next thing I want to do is let me get in your way for a moment and reach over here. I'm going to take and put that on a thumb drive. And uh, see if that'll work. Hey, how about that? If I look at that. Um, so that had a profile from yesterday. I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to go to Windows, um, System, System. System 32, and we're going to go to uh, Spool, Spool, and Drivers, and Color, and there is right there the color profile that I just created with the tool, the calibration tool, and we're going to copy that over to flash drive. Um, let's see. Another thing I want to show you, the quality of this. So I just installed Chrome and we're going to go to YouTube and we're going to look for my favorite HDR video. And I do believe it's this one. And we're going to turn off the noise. Okay. So let's, uh, let's do some higher resolution. And we're going to make it full screen. And... So there, hopefully this is showing up kind of okay. Yeah, not bad. It doesn't always show up properly on camera. So this bird is interesting. Where he turns his head, right there. These feathers, if it hasn't been adjusted right on pretty much every monitor I've ever looked at, if it hasn't been adjusted right, you can't. It's just solid red. You can't make that out. Um, unfortunately, I'm looking at my camera here. It looks white. Believe me, it's actually red. Um, maybe, let's try this. If I get close enough, it turns red. I'm not 100% I'm not sure how well you can make that out. It looks pretty strange to me. Um, but there you go. Um, that's the idea. Uh, it looks like it has that adjusted pretty well. Um, and then back here, um, on, on this image, some of these darker areas, um, maybe, you know, if I were to do this again, I would probably move the slider up a little bit on the dark. Because I think there's some detail right in here that... It should be visible, and it's just not. Um, but that's not the, the point of this, is to see if I can transfer this color profile. 
to a Windows 10 machine and get good results. So that's going to be what I do next. So what I'm going to do is unplug this and switch over to the Windows 10 machine. So that will be just a moment while I do this. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Gotta get behind here and unplug that guy. And plug this other one in. We should see something pretty quick here. Let's get that. All right. So how's that? That's kind of okay. Now, what am I going to do here? Um, so I am going to um, open, let's see, do I have, I do have color management. So I'm going to open the color management window here. Um, oh, I had already done this previously. So I'm just going to remove that and get rid of that. And under here, I'm, I'm just backing up. I don't want to have stuff I've done before making this confusing. And I'm going to remove from all profiles the previous stuff that I had done. Okay. So now let's put that there and then this in Windows 10, I have HDRs turned off, so that's fine. Um, let's put that over to the side. Now to get the color profile off of the flash drive I put on here, um, I'm going to say Use my device, just my settings for this device. I'm going to add, I'm going to add it as an advanced color profile, and I'm going to browse to the new profile I just made, and I'm going to add it. And there it is. So when I switch to HDR, it's going to use this color profile. So I'm going to close that. And uh, uh, the monitor is still in HDR mode that I had before. And so I am just going to go here to use HDR. Okay. And I'm going to change this to 100%. So it's just like I had on the other one. And then, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Make that bigger. Um, color, HD color settings. Okay. And here I have, let's do this. Okay, so here I have that slider again. And I'm going to set that to 40, like I had on the other one. There, 40. And uh, then I'm going to open Chrome. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, because I don't know what I'm going to see when I open Chrome. So we're going to do that just for a moment. And I'm going to go to that same video that I had on the other computer there it is 
is. And HDR, full screen, and that looks pretty good, I think. Let's see what kind of resolution I have here. Yeah, let's do better resolution than that. Let's take a look at those, that fruit, this thing. So that looks really similar. Um, yeah, there it is. Almost identical. Uh, same thing with the dark areas. And here's that bird. And he turns his head right there. Almost exactly the same. So bottom line is I think you can create a profile using Windows 11 and move that over to Windows 10 and it should work just fine. So hopefully this video will have turned out a little better than other attempts I've made. Um, actually pointing my camera at the screen, you know, doesn't always give me happy results. So, But that's the intent uh, of what I was trying to show. And I'm hoping it all came out pretty readable as to what I did on the screen. And, uh, and it was easy enough to follow. There you go. All done.